Hi there. In this video, we're going to move on to associations. An association is a way to connect two Rails models. So for example, if you remember, we have the book model and that has an author and a title. Now, imagine that we wanted to add the we wanted to split out the author's first name and last name. And we also wanted the author's age in our database. So we could have on the book, we could have author's first name, author last name, author age. But that approach gets problematic because if we want to, let's say we had um, one author that had multiple books, we'd have to duplicate the author's name, last name and age on both books. So a better way to do it is we have another model, uh, an author model, and then we associate that with the book. So to start with, let's create an author model. So we can use the Rails generator. So BIM Rails generate model author. And we want to give it a first name, which would be a string, a last name, which would be a string, and an age, which will store as an integer. So I'll run that. And that generates me a migration and a new model. So I'm going to go ahead and run the migrations, db migrate. So now we have two different models, but there's no association between them. So in this case, we want to set up a belongs to has many relationship. So what that means is an author can have multiple books, but a book can only ever have one author. And to do that, we need to make another database change because we need a, a foreign key ID re which references the other model. So in this case, we'd have the, the book model. We want to add an author ID so that the book, that's how the database knows that the book uh, belongs to the author. So we can do that again with the Rails generator. We can do bin rails generate migration and we can say add author to books and we can use this author with a type references and this is just a rails syntax to set up that um, has many belongs to relationship. If I run that migration, let's take a look at what it generates. So you see we have add a reference to books um, with an author. So essentially we're adding um, an author ID to books. And for now, just to simplify, just to simplify things, I'm going to remove the uh, null constraint and the foreign key. So I will go ahead and run this. And let's take a look at the schema. You can see that we have the author table here and our books table looks the same, but now we have this author ID. Now there's one other thing we need to do on the books model, you'll notice we still have the author as a string, which is how we previously stored the author's name. And we want to remove that because now we're going to reference through the author ID into the author's table. So I'm going to write another migration for removing the, um, removing the author from books. So remove 
author from books and we can say author string so let's check out the migration and you'll notice that I didn't specify uh, a special key for for remove rails actually inferred that from the name that I gave the migration so we have remove column from books we're removing the author column so I'll go ahead and run this. Let's jump back to the schema. And you can see we still have the, the new author ID field that was added, but we've removed the old author string field. So that all looks good. Now that we have the database setup done, we just need to add a few method calls to the models so that Rails is aware of the new association. So I'll jump to the author model first and we'll add a has many. So an author has many books. Now I'll jump to the book model and a book belongs to an author. I'm also going to remove this validation because the the length the length validation doesn't really make sense anymore. And that should be everything set up correctly. So what I can do now is open up the console and we can test this out. So first of all I'll create an author. So we have a first name, I'll go with JK Rowling. So first name, last name, and age. I have no idea how old JK Rowling is. She is 55. Okay. And now what I can do is create some books. So we have the name of the book. So let's go with the Philosopher's Stone. Apologies for any typos here. And the author, instead of setting a string, now we can just reference this uh, author that we created here, which I assigned to the variable author. Uh, oops, I did that wrong. Instead of name, that should be um, title. There we go. Now, the second book, I'll create two just to show you how the relationship works. This can be the Chamber of Secrets. We'll do the same thing, assign the author. So you'll notice that both of those books have an author ID of one, which matches the author that we created, author ID of one. So now I can say, I can find the author and I can see which books the author has assigned. And you can see that it has the Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. And I can go the other way as well. So I can get one of the books and I can ask it what the author is. You can see that this book, the author's first name, the author's last name, and the author's age. That's all for this video. I hope you found this brief introduction to Rails associations useful. In future videos, we will work these associations into our API. Thanks for listening. See you in the next one.